Hello, Blue Delta Wolf again. Um, so yeah, I've been making that wizard's tower that you can see in the distance there pretty much all day. And then I spent uh, two hours fixing a, a lava problem that I had. I don't know if you guys saw the video, but I'll I'll leave a link in the description. And um, then I TNT'd it all and blew half my bloody tower up. But uh, now it's all fixed, so I was hoping to give you guys a quick tour of the of the actual wizard's tower itself. So, uh, yeah, this is a pretty cool uh, seed, actually. I might leave the seed in the description as well. Where the wizard's tower is is where you spawn. And there's a village there, which is a pretty nice little village. Uh, there's a pretty cool lagoon there. Maybe a pirate ship build would be cool. Uh, there's all kinds of biomes all over the place. There's This is the plains biome. There's jungle not too far away. There's uh, desert not too far away. But I'm not going to show you all that. I'm here to show you my tower. So here's my tower. I'll start from the bottom. Okay, I'm a wizard so I can fly. So yeah, getting in ain't too hard. Just step on those. But uh, my nether portal is a bit more difficult. If I was to ever open this up to multiplayer, you'd have to go through here. And there it is. It's my nether portal. So, uh, come up the stairs. This took me ages to fix, by the way. Absolutely ages. <laughs> About an hour, I think. I was devastated when it blew up, but it was quite fun to fix it. So, uh, yeah, this is my little seating area, nice and comfortable. Spent about two hours trying to stop that fire, setting that ceiling on fire. Could not figure it out. Nice view of the village from here. Now, we eventually sorted it out, though, so it doesn't set anything on fire anymore. It's my great granddad. <laughs> so, yeah, this is my wizard's tower. Um, the master bed. That's where I bring all my hoes. <laughs> That's where the magic happens. It's my great grandmother. It's another nice view of the town. Of course, I'm the town's protector, so nothing ever bad happens to them while I'm here. This is my flight pad. So uh, yeah, that's good. And then we're on the third floor. This is where I do all my reading. All my books. That's my great great grandfather. And uh, my secret enchanting room is in there. There is no access unless you have the secret password or you know where the switch is. Enchanting table. I think I get the full 15 books there. 6, 12, 18. Yeah, of course I do. That's no problem. So that should be able to enchant up to level 30. I haven't tried it yet. This is my workshop with an awesome artwork. It's the only time I've ever seen that painting come up, so uh, I kind of left it there. Needs a bit of cleaning up here, of course. Cobwebs everywhere. My jukebox, my furnaces, my crafting table, my cauldron, my potion stand, two anvils, chests galore, and a nice iron hard floor. And the final room is my beacon room. This is where you get all your cool buffs and stuff. Not that I need them because I'm on too many items. Actually, I think too many items spoils the game. As soon as I installed it, I stopped doing things for real. I just cheated all the time. So, uh, yeah, I think it kind of spoils it. I recommend not using it unless you really need it. But uh, that's my wizard tower. I hope you guys like it. Please leave uh, some feedback in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, hopefully I'll be making more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy.